Here's the situation. You have part numbers sold at your stores that have different GPs. What you need is a way to find the lowest GP in a part number so you can call a store and ask them about it. So let's take a look at this example. Here I have all my parts, the GPs, the stores. Some of these parts repeat, all the GPs are different. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is copy the entire list of part numbers onto a different place on a spreadsheet because I'm going to need a unique list and I'm using Excel 2010 so I go up to the data ribbon and choose the remove duplicates feature to create for myself a unique list of parts. Now I can apply my formula to it and I'm going to use the small function along with the if then function. So I'm going to first highlight the part array hit F4 to lock it. I'm going to look in this entire array for this unique part number. I'm not going to lock that. And then I'm going to return the corresponding GP in this array and lock it. Close the if then. Now I need to close the small function by choosing the second argument for the small function, which is a number. If I were to choose the number one, it would return the smallest. If I were to to choose number two, it would return the second smallest and so on. So since I want the smallest, I'm going to choose one. For this particular example, I could have used the minimum formula, got the same result, but that's just preference. So now I'm done with the formula, but I know since I'm comparing two arrays that this has to be an array formula surrounded by brackets. So to do that, I need to do a special keystroke on my keyboard, which is hold down control, hold down shift, and hit enter. There we go. It threw the brackets around the entire thing and it returned 2%. So let's check that. Here's a 551 at 5, a 551 at 2, and a 551 at 3. So it brought back the smallest one. So there we go. Now I have all the smallest GPs for each of these unique part numbers. So I can call store number 2 and ask them why that's happening. But as a manager, a smart manager, I'm thinking about it and saying, okay, every store is not equally as efficient. There's going to be some variation here. So I'm really only interested in things that are below a certain amount. So now I'm going to move from a small if to a small if if. It was small if it's a certain part number. Now it's going to be small if it's a certain part number and if it's below a certain GP. So the formula is going to start out the same. I'm going to highlight the part array f4 to lock it equal my unique part number throw in an if then here in the middle for the GP array lock it if that is less than my condition lock that then return the appropriate GP within this array if not return nothing close the small now I happen to know that if the smallest happens to be larger than this then this entire formula is going to return an error I know that's a possibility so I don't want to see that so I'm going to wrap the whole thing in an if error if that happens return what return nothing and then I have to control shift enter here we go it returned two percent we know that's true from the other formula but it's also below four that's why it showed up so let's drag this all the way down there we go. 3 is the lowest and below 4. 3 is the lowest and below 4. 7 is the lowest, but it's not below 4, so I don't want to see it. Same with 12. So this is doing exactly what I wanted it to do. Let me show you what I did here. And that is a way to solve this need.